A closed inner corner joint in flat position is going to be relatively similar to the butt joint or an outer open corner joint in flat position as well. The difference is you don't have the two toes. You don't have the A and C edge to follow as you're going through. You're going to actually have to visualize how big you need your fillet well to be. Now, when we're talking about closed inner corner joints in horizontal position, you have gravity fighting your liquefied materials. So that means if you go too slow through the weld, it's going to start bulging or towing out. So what we want to do is we want to get into a technique. Now, just like every time you go into weld, you have to follow your rules. You always have to have your stick out, the travel speed, work angle, and drag angle correct. We are going to get into a technique that I like to refer to as the wheel. That's going to help prevent bulge out. It's going to help you control your weld going through the weld, gives you vision. It's also going to make your weld look really nice. So that's what we're going to do. Now, to execute this technique, you have to visualize your A and C edge, your two toes. That's what we want to do. Now, why I call it the wheel? The reason I call it the wheel, A, you want to cut, prep, tack, weld. First, tack your material together, and then we are going to start our weld at one of the tacks. Puddle up first, come up and over through the weld, creating little inverted L-shaped loops, kind of like cursive L's. But what you are doing with these little cursive L's, every time you come up and over, you are basically creating the face of your bead. Okay, so you're gonna wanna try to get to the front toe edge of the puddle, taking it with you as you drag through the weld. Now, here's a little trick for this. As you come up and over, your distance that you travel every single time you come up and over getting to the toe edge of that weld is roughly going to be the thickness of the material as you pull through. So if you're welding on an eighth inch material, you only want to move an eighth inch ahead of where you're going, trying to stay on the front toe edge of that puddle. 